welcome to video eight. In video seven, we learned about adding audio from our iTunes program on our computer, but know that you can also add music from anywhere. If you have a music file, that can be added just like video is added also, but it is awfully convenient to use iTunes. We also learned about iMovie transitions that occur between clips to help smooth the cuts between them. But we didn't learn about the length of the transitions. And if you click on one, you'll see that by default, all of our transitions are set to one second. But know that you can change that by double clicking and changing the length for one clip or to all of the clips. You can also do that by going up to iMovie Preferences and changing the transition length there. You can also change the photo duration. And you can review things that you can change for your entire movie. Another thing you should know about transitions is that if you want to be really precise with transitions, you can control click on a transition and then press Show Precision Editor. So just know that it's there, and if you do need help at any point, we're here to help you. So let's finish up with the content library by looking at what other goodies it has to offer. We've looked at media, there's our media, we've looked at audio, We've looked at transitions. Now let's take a look at titles. There's over 50 titles or approximately 50 that we can choose from. And these you use wherever you, you need text of any kind. We can't change the position of any title that we see. For instance, the one highlighted is right in the middle of the screen. The one next to it's at the bottom. The position stays the same with iMovie text, unfortunately, but you can see where they're at and probably find something that will work for you. So the text we have in our project right now can't be edited because it wasn't created from these titles. For instance, this is actually footage that was pulled in. So if we want to change the font or the color, we have to do so by using these titles here. So I'm going to use this title right here called Focus, and you can see what it does. It focuses it down to title text here, it says. I'm going to replace the very first clip of mine that says The Peaceful Town of Disasterville. I'm going to pull that over it just for a second and um, type, let's see, double click it and highlight it in blue, and then you can type right over it and type the peaceful town of disasterville, dot, dot, dot. Now that's a bit messy, isn't it? It's right on top of the other one. Well, I can actually delete this first clip now because I've created a different title. Oops. I can go up to edit, undo delete to get that back. And I'm going to make sure that this is not connected to that. I'm going to delete that for now. Hmm. Make that its own clip right there. And I think it, we want it, oh, let's make it four seconds or so. Okay, so if you look at that, so we've changed one title. And note that you can double click on that and change the font here to anything, however you want it to look. You can change the size if you want it smaller, and you can change the color too. And I kind of like light yellow, that's cheery, and the town's rather cheery, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's let you now replicate one of these titles in our timeline, pick any one, and then you can pull it down into the timeline. Yeah, so W will add it where the player is, all right? And know that you can also put your titles on top of things too. But we want it to stand alone, so you're going to insert it somewhere.
Earlier I mentioned that you can you can add text on top of an image. So I'm going to do that. So you'll see that little anchor, see that bar right there? So I'm going to add it there, and I certainly don't want it to say name description. So I'm going to try type drone, and underneath I'll put in parentheses highlighted UAV. Another thing you can do is you can add credits. You often put them at the end of your movie. So if you highlight that and press E as your keyboard shortcut, you'll see that it goes at the end. And right now it just has black in the background. Go up to your content library and press background. And you can use any of the images that they already have imported for you. There's not a great deal of images, but know that there, there are enough. So I'm going to press organic and I'm going to put it, well, I'm going to move things around just for a second. And I want this there and this on top of it. There we go. And you can see the credits. So I'm going to delete that for now. The last thing I think we're going to do, we will add a map under the peaceful town of Disasterville. So if you go up to watercolor still in backgrounds, you'll see a green image map. And let's say we do add this on top of the peaceful town of Disasterville. You can see that it covers it up. Double click on it and you go up to the word opacity. Opacity means how transparent it is, how much you can see through it. And you can drag this button to as as make it as transparent as you'd like to make it. So you get the idea. So try that and we'll finish up for today.